Hi, I thought I'd do a quick update on the GPS disciplined oscillator and six digit clock. So today is the 25th of October and it's coming up to two o'clock in the morning and the clocks are about to change. So I thought it'd be a good chance to just see whether the code that I've written to update for British summertime is working correctly. And also I'd give a quick update on the clock. So since the last video on the clock, I've now completed the RS485 connection. So I've got the cable connected into the GPS disciplined oscillator. Um, so that's just a piece of uh, two core with shield. Um, so we've got the differential output from the RS485 transceiver and ground. And then that's connected into the rear of the clock. So we've got an RS485 connection on the back of there. And now what happens is if I um, don't have the GPS connected, it runs from its own internal clock. And then as soon as you plug in the RS485 connection, uh, the next time the GPS unit sends out a time signal, which is every second, the time gets updated and then it starts running from the GPS output there. So the code I've implemented on the GPS disciplined oscillator is sending out a string of bytes every second which has the time and date information in it. And what I was going to do was use the 9-bit mode on the microcontroller and the first byte of the string was going to have the 9th bit set so it was easily identifiable uh, when a new set of data was being sent out. Because I ran into a bit of trouble with interfacing it with other pieces of equipment, I decided to stick with 8-bit mode. And what we've got at the start of the string are two start of frame bytes which are fixed. So the hex values 0xfe and 0xfa. And every time it receives those two bytes in that order, it knows that the string that it's about to receive is a new string and it's not some data that's within it. And then we've got a command byte, so um, I may use the RS485 connection for things in addition to the time. So uh, every time a time frame is going to be sent out, the command byte is set to 1. And maybe if it does other things, there'll be different command uh, byte numbers there. And then we've got the string of data, so hours, minutes, seconds, uh, the day of the week, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And then we've got the date, day, month, and year. Um, for the year, as it's an 8-bit number, we're just sending out the 15 for 2015 and 16 for 2016. We've got another byte, which is just saying whether it's summertime or not. And then finally, we've got an 8-bit checksum of the entire string of data. So it's coming up to the point where the clocks are about to go back an hour. So in October, the clocks go back an hour at two o'clock. And I've not actually tested the code to see if the correction is working correctly. So I could have written a script on the PC uh, to emulate the time being sent out by the GPS disciplined oscillator um, so that I could check whether this is working correctly. But I decided to leave it um, and test it once it actually happens. So it looks like I've gone slightly wrong there and the clock has gone back an hour 15 seconds early so it looks like I'm doing the test to see whether it's summertime or not uh, on the time before I've applied the correction for the addition of leap seconds. So I'll have to make an adjustment to that in the code uh, but otherwise that seems to be working correctly. So that was just a quick update on the clock and GPS unit. I should have another video coming later on so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.